as always, when you least expect it, Elemental go and release another beta version, 3.26. And this one is pretty interesting, especially one feature that I want to showcase because I think it is amazingly powerful and then does kind of a bit of a hacky fix that I created for this as a solution a while ago. You can see it on screen. It's basically the ability to do a dynamic off canvas within a loop grid. The importance of this for products or posts might be whereby you give a bit of information. Let's pretend you've got a custom post type for team and you go and have an image of a team member and you got their name. When you have a button that says show more details or show bio, and when you click it, it opens a pop up, in this case, an off canvas. And inside of there, you could have further details, social sharing icon. Imagine doing this for products. You could have like a buy it now, have further images, could have video. Before you could not do that, but I did do a video on how you could. Well, that now feels redundant because it's now inbuilt. I mean, version 3.26, they haven't just done that. They've gone and improved on the CSS loading and optimized DOM. And I've been doing videos and talking about this for a while now. When you install a brand new Elemental website, from the get-go, you'll be hitting 100%. Before, it used to be 65 to 70. And then you had to go and do loads of stuff like performance plugins or code snippets and stuff, which you can still do. I still recommend doing a few snippets. But from the get-go, ground-go, get-go, from the get-go, your score is pretty high. Well, when I say pretty high, it is high. We're also told about an ad block detection. You know when you have like buttons on your website and it opens a pop up and then someone goes, I clicked it and nothing happened. Nine times out of 10, it's because they've got an ad blocker activated. There's now settings that you can enable to inform the user that they need to deactivate their ad block. Now we're also told about unifying product images with Elemental AI. I'm not testing this out because I'm still not entirely sure how to get this working but apparently it's going to standardize our images. I need to fully understand this because if you've got four images and they're all transparent background and then you have another image, will it now make that transparent or does it stylize them in some way? Now, the link for all of this is in the video description, so there's further details. I should also point out that we have enhancements for accessibility like ARIA labels, and I'm sure this will improve over time, but it's a step in the right direction. Like I said, there's loads of other details down here for you to go and study line by line. But I want to focus on the big one, which is enabling you to have a dynamic off canvas for your loop grid. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm actually going to use a custom post type. So not just post and products, but a custom post type just to really put it through its paces. So let's go and drop in a loop grid first. And then I'm going to use one of my pre-existing templates. I'm pretty sure it's that one. It's a really basic one where all you get is a button and a title. There's nothing fancy going on there. I'm going to go to query and I'm going to click articles because that's one of my custom post type because inside of there, everything, the title, the image, everything, the content was all custom fields. I'm going to click edit templates and then inside of here, I'm going to drop in the off canvas widget like that. I'm not going to spend time styling this out. Okay, so I just want to get across that this feature is now available for us. Well, it's in the beta version. And by the way, if you are going to install or upgrade to the beta version, you've got to go to WordPress Elemental Tools. Say you want to be a beta tester, you activate it. Then you need to update to 3.26 for the free and the pro version for this to work properly. Never do it on a live production site. Always do it on a staging or a testing site. I'm just going to go and set this to be in the middle like that. And I'm going to go for something like 60 VH. I'm not going to spend time going through the settings because we'll do this in much more detail when the final version of 3.26 is released. Drop in a heading and I'll drop in a text editor. And while we're here, I'll drop in an image as well. I'm going to click on the heading, click on the dynamic tag, scroll down until I get to ACF field. Now, by the way, if you were just using your standard post and your standard product, you would go and pick whatever items you want down here. And if this was product, you could pick, you know, the price or the stock or the, you know, quantity or whatever. You can do that. I am intentionally going to go for an ACF field. I'm going to click the spanner or wrench and I'm going to go and click articles title. So it should return the same title. I'm going to go to the text editor, click the dynamic tag again, go to ACF field, click the spanner or the wrench, go to key. And then I'm going to pick articles intro. These are all dummy fields, by the way, okay? I didn't really populate them with proper content. Just getting across how it works. 
We're going to click on the image, dynamic tag. I could go for featured image, but none of my articles, custom post type have got a featured image. Instead, they actually had a field I created for them. I'm going to click ACF image field, click on the spanner wrench, and I'm going to go for articles cover. Now that's not returning anything yet because I have not gone and set the preview, but I'm not overly worried about that. Click on the off canvas, undo the editing mode because sometimes you have to do that. Now we're going to set our button to open or summon the off canvas. Click on the button, go to where you have your link. Don't add in any link there. Click the dynamic tag and then scroll down until you get to off canvas. Click that, then click the spanner and the wrench. Make sure it's set to be open. I mean, within your off canvas, I mean, you can close it by hitting the escape button and all of that stuff. But you might also want to put an icon in with a cross. And when you click that, that closes the off canvas or have a toggle. We're just going to go for open. And then I'm going to select the off canvas. That is now all done. And then you hit save and back. And, and that's it. Let's just go and hit publish and then do a preview. My very unimaginative page. Please excuse it. This is just a test website. This is super cool. If I click this. It's now going to say the title, there's my intro, and there's my image. If I click the overlay, it's going to close it, but I could also hit the escape button. Now let's go to this one. Well, we've got our intro, well, 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 and I've got my image. And how easy is this? Intro and a different image. Can you see how you could start using this for Teams? Maybe you've got product, you've already got an image, and you've got a title. You click it, and then a description comes up, and you've got your Add to Cart button also inside of there. Well, maybe you're going to like showcase. Uh, like a particular video. So you got your products and you got your videos, but your videos are on the single product page. Maybe people won't always go there, but you want to entice them or something, or, or even better still, maybe there's a special discount per product. So for 3.26, this is a pretty big deal that we now have this enabled. Like I said, there's other things as well. Optimization, CSS loading, accessibility, ad blocker as well. And there's loads of details down here for you to go and click the link and have a study. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain.